Welcome to Saturday Story Circle, always on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. It's time once again for America's favorite show, The Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd, brought to you by DrFloyd.com. This week, starring Maria Bamford as Amelia Earhart and Frank Conniff as Fred Noonan. In our last amazing aeronautical adventure, Dr. Steve had made a time jump to Lay New Guinea on July 1st, 1937. His plan was to discover the details of Amelia Earhart's mysterious disappearance in order to sell that information to the highest bidder back in the present day. Dr. Floyd, Dr. Grant, and Chips had raced to stop him, but as they arrived at the restaurant at the airport where Amelia Earhart now was, a monkey wrench had been thrown into those plans. What are we gonna do, Chips? Dr. Floyd is so smitten with Amelia Earhart, he's going to warn her about her disappearance and change history. I know, Dr. Grant, and if Dr. Floyd's behavior wasn't bad enough, look who's over in that corner booth. Oh, no, it's Dr. Steve and Fidget. How are we going to stop Dr. Floyd from changing history and prevent Dr. Steve from doing whatever evil plan he obviously has in mind? Hmm, perhaps we can get Dr. Steve to stop Dr. Floyd. What are you talking about? No time to explain. Come on, follow me. Chips and Dr. Grant quickly rush over to where Dr. Steve and Fidget are sitting eating their meal. As they do, let Let's check in on Dr. Floyd, who is now approaching Amelia Earhart's table. Excuse me, um, Miss Earhart? Yes? Uh, hi. My name is Dr. Floyd, and I, um, just wanted to say that I'm an awfully big fan of yours, and I brought you some flowers. Why, thank you. They're beautiful. Aren't you just a sweetie? <laughs> uh, oops. I mean, thank you. I tell you what, why don't you join me and my co-pilot Noonan for a while? We'd be welcome for the company. I, uh, I'd love to. As Dr. Floyd joins Amelia Earhart at her table, let's see how Chips and Dr. Grant are faring at Dr. Steve's table. Wait, so you're telling me that Dr. Floyd is going to warn Amelia Earhart that she's going to disappear on her flight tonight? Mm, that's exactly what we're saying. He'll be dangerously toying with history. Not only that, he'll ruin my plan. Oh, hush, Fidget. My plan is to discover what happens to Amelia Earhart and then return to the future and sell that information to the highest bidder. I'll be known as the man who solved the Amelia Earhart mystery. All right, I'll help you, but on one condition. All right, what is it? You two have to pick up our check. Fine, we'll pay for your food. Just help us stop Dr. Floyd. Oh, I will, but first, uh, excuse me, waitress. What can I get you, hon? Two of your finest tarmac T-bone steak and lobster platters to go, please. Coming right up. Hey! Okay, let's go stop Dr. Floyd. Talk about awkward alliances. Dr. Steve is now helping Dr. Granite Chip stop Dr. Floyd. I I wonder how this is going to play out. Let's not waste any time and get back to Amelia Earhart's table and find out. And that's when I bought myself a Kinner Airster biplane. Oh, it was beautiful. Bright yellow. I named her the Canary. Sounds amazing. Too bad you weren't there. I would have taken you for a flight. <sighs> yeah, too bad. You know what, Floyd? What's that, Miss Earhart? Your tiny little head is just too cute. You don't mind me saying so. Oh, I don't mind you saying it at all, Miss Earhart. Okay, I'm gonna go warm up the plane. See you there soon, Amelia? Yeah, I'll be right along, Fred. <laughs> well, Floyd, this has been fun, but I have a round-the-world flight to finish. Yeah, about that, Miss Earhart. I have something very important to tell you about your flight tonight. What's that? Tonight during your flight, uh, as you approach Howland Island, you... Yes? Well, you're going to... And how is everyone at this table doing tonight, hmm? Oh, we're just wrapping up here, thanks. Dr. Steve, what are you doing here? Dr. Steve? You know this guy? Yeah, unfortunately, he's my arch nemesis. I just dropped by to shake your hand, Miss Earhart, and wish you the best on your flight around the world. Well, thank you, sir. I also wanted to say that Dr. Floyd here has the tiniest head in the world, and I know gnats with more smarts in their pinky fingers than Dr. Floyd could ever hope to possess. Uh, Dr. Steve? Nats don't have pinky fingers. Oh, I know they don't. And that's exactly how dumb you are, Floyd. Are you gonna take that, Floyd? Are you just gonna let him insult you like that? But it's not even really an insult. You see, Nats... Does it matter? Get up! Give him a good clobberin'. Either you do it, or I do it. <laughs> you gonna let a girl fight your battles, Floyd? What did you just say? Were you just insulting girls? Come here, pal. 
Let me show you how well a girl can fight a battle. Run, Fidget, run! As Amelia Earhart chases Dr. Steve out of the restaurant, Dr. Floyd follows them and meets up with Dr. Grant and Chips outside. Did Amelia run past here? Yeah, she was just seconds behind Dr. Steve. Dr. Floyd, you didn't tell her about the future, did you? No, I was about to, but I realize I can't. I've always known that no matter how painful the past is, we must do everything in our power not to change it, or it could have disastrous results on the future. Spoken like the world's most brilliant scientist. Come on, let's go to the hangar to watch Amelia take off. Moments later, our heroes are in the hangar with Amelia Earhart and Fred Noonan. Dr. Floyd is smiling from ear to ear as he sits in the pilot seat with Amelia Earhart next to him. Well, Floyd, I don't think you'll have any problems with your arch nemesis for a while. I was chasing him around the tarmac and he smacked his head on the wing of a plane and is out cold. Thanks for that, Amelia. You're the best. I guess I should let you get going on your flight. Yeah. I'll be sure to look you up when I get back to the States. Yeah, that would be great. Hey, you have a few wires hanging down here. Let me put them back up under the dashboard for you. Wow, smart and handy. Quite a combo. Aw, shucks. All right, time for you to get off this rig so me and Noonan can fly to Howland Island. With a tear in his eye, Dr. Floyd gets off the plane and stands with Dr. Grant and Chips. The three of them watch as Amelia Earhart takes off into the night. Happy landings to you, Amelia Earhart. Farewell, first lady of the air. Dr. Steve is still knocked out, so there's no way he can follow her, Dr. Floyd. Good. <sighs> I'm sorry, Dr. Floyd. It's okay. At the very least, I can say I met her. And who knows, maybe someday someone will figure out the mystery of where she went to. Yeah, maybe someday. Our heroes return to their ship and blast off for another adventure. Where in history will they wind up next? What mind-blowing adventures lay ahead of them in this new season? And just how is Dr. Steve doing after that whack on the head? Where did all these little birdies come from, Fidget? <laughs> Hello there, little tweet tweets. Find out next time on the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd. LaGuardia Spaceport to unidentified aircraft. You can't park that antique on the launch pad. Where do you think you are? I don't think it's a question of where. I think it's a question of when. Episode number 601 of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd featured special guest appearances by Maria Bamford as Amelia Earhart and the Waitress. www.mariabamford.com Frank Conniff as Fred Noonan and Maura Quirk as Chips, www.mauraquirk.com. Music for this episode by Jody Whitesides, www.jodywhitesides.com. This episode was written by Grant Pachoco. Join the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd mailing list only at www.drfloyd.com slash join. That's www.doctorfloyd.com slash join. Leave us a voicemail at 818-332-3053. Episode number 601 of the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd is copyright 2007 Dr. Floyd Industries. All rights reserved. Clear the airwaves! Clear the airwaves! It's now time for Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation Ranger's secret message for you members of the Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation. Remember, kids, only official radio adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Rangers can decode Dr. Floyd's secret message with the secret decoder ring available only from www.imaginationranger.com. All right, grab your secret decoder rings and a pencil and paper and prepare to set your imagination to fun. Remember, Dr. Floyd is counting on you. Here is the Radio Adventures of Dr. Floyd Imagination Nation Ranger's secret message for episode number 601, Take Off. 3, 9, 8, 23, 18, 3, 8, 3, 1, 5, 3, 1, 14, 4, 7, 14, 20, 7, 9. And that was a message from Dr. Floyd himself to all his Imagination Nation Rangers. You can join Dr. Floyd's Imagination Nation and become an Imagination Nation Ranger only at www.imaginationranger.com. And until next time, set your imagination to fun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ah, Saturday Story Circle in the Mutual Audio Network. A time for the family to gather together and enjoy tales filled with adventure, humor, and fun. Speaking of family-friendly, have you listened to Bells in the Bathory? Catch it on Friday Follies and every other week on Sunday Showcase. It's a time for the family to gather together and enjoy tales filled with stinky puns, odd characters, and bizarre plots, such as they are. Bells in the Bathory on the Mutual Audio Network. It will have your family going around in circles.